It is Kamala Harris, the California uh, senator, the former presidential candidate, who was right up there on the debate stage, getting in his face with Joe Lieberman, has been uh, chosen as his pick to be his running mate. She will uh, be uh, fighting the battle with him uh, in the presidential campaign. Uh, the list had been winnowed down to two, we're told. Susan Rice, the former national security advisor. Uh, but ultimately, it was uh, Kamala Harris who impressed uh, the, the uh, former vice president and will be his his running Thanks. mate. We We've just learned from Joe Biden's campaign that he is picking California Senator Kamala Harris uh, to be his running mate. The Biden campaign making that announcement uh, moments ago. News release is out and uh, Biden talks about in that news release why uh, he's picking Harris. Among other things, he says these are not normal times. For the first time in history, we're facing three historic crises and facing them all at the same time, worst pandemic in 100 years, worst economic crisis since the Depression, and the most powerful calls for racial justice in a generation. Talks about how, in his view, the president has failed to lead there, and he wants to work along some, alongside someone who is, to quote from the release, smart, tough, and ready to lead. He says Kamala is that person. He needs someone who understands the pain that so many people in the nation are suffering. So Kamala Harris, who had ran who had run unsuccessfully herself for the Democratic nomination for president, much as Joe Biden had in 2008 before being picked by uh, Barack Obama to be his running mate, is now the choice of Biden. To it's be Kamala his. Harris, Wilford. Uh, the vice president's website now indicating that he has selected Kamala Harris, the Democratic senator from California, who, of course, ran for president uh, in this cycle on the Democratic side of the aisle, uh, did not win, uh, had some contentious moments uh, involving Joe Biden. But nonetheless, the, vice, the former vice president has apparently uh, overlooked those contentious moments and decided that Kamala Harris is the person who can help him win in November uh, on the ticket uh, with him against the president. Kamala Harris, of course, uh, one of the most uh, outspoken critics of the Trump administration in a town full of Democrats who are open critics of the Trump administration. She really came to attention nationally uh, before her presidential campaign, in part because of her role at high-profile hearings of grilling Trump administration officials. Her presidential campaign uh, fizzled out and ended in December. She never really was able to get enough traction there to make it all the way to the nomination. But Joe Biden clearly feels that Kamala Harris is the woman who can help him win the White House in 2020. Wilfred, back over to you. And of course, uh, they uh, had a, a famous clash uh, during the first televised uh, debate. But uh, Eamon, talk us through uh, exactly what she, she adds to his ticket. Uh, I mean, the, the simple point, of course, is that uh, she comes from a state that he, he can already be pretty confident he was going to win. Sure, yeah. He's not making this pick because he needs help in California. He's making this pick because Kamala Harris is a former prosecutor who's seen as a, ser a serious heavyweight player uh, in the Democratic Party. She's African-American. She's female. All of that will help win over constituencies that Biden uh, needs to win over. The question, I think, with Kamala Harris now is going to be uh, in the wake of these anti-police violence uh, protests that we've seen throughout the country, will progressives and liberals see her as somebody who's on their side on the issue? issue of police violence or as a former prosecutor will they say you know this is somebody who is uh, too aligned with the prosecutor's offices and police departments for our taste so we'll see how this goes over with the progressive and liberal wing of the party and of course Joe Biden needs them too in order to win in November he's got to pull together the biggest mm -hmm. coalition that he can to take on President Trump